Hey, Penny Fish. It's the 11th of October, 2018. And I really wanted to share this with you real quick. This is uh, really, really interesting. Uh, first, we should probably remember here, uh, Michael. Hurricane Michael, who literally came out of nowhere, right? And this storm has caused a great deal of devastation, okay? We truly need to keep these people in our prayers, okay? Seriously, all right? The storm that came out of nowhere. And I'm not going to get into the weather modification stuff in this video, but this really ticks me off that they have the ability to dissipate these hurricanes or to weaken them. And that's just a fact. And yet this one was never mind. So please, please keep these people in your prayers. What I, what I really wanted to share with you is that I noticed that yesterday the uh, stock market really took quite a tumble, right? And it's reset now, but luckily I took a screenshot of this from yesterday. And this is what it closed at was 831 this is the Dow that's what everybody seems to look at oh if the Dow's doing good then everything's great right but it was down 831.83 and like immediately I see 8383 which is an 1111 and that just reminded me instantly of the other day when it came to me that this 1010 breaks down to an 11 and then we have the 2018, which is an 11. So we had 11, 11. And the stock market basically closes 83183, which has an 11, 11 blatantly embedded into it. On top of 33. Because the 33, if we take our calendar and we go 33 days forward, it lines us, lands us on 11, 11 from 10, 10. 33 days okay so that to me in correlation with the 11 11 that i was shown on this makes a lot of sense to me at least more now than it did then so we're looking at this right so now i got 11 11 on my mind okay as you can understand and what i'm going to show you here uh, a lot of people may be aware of this but a lot probably aren't uh, this is a memorial. It's located in Arizona. And when you see the correlation here, I think you'll understand why I made this video. Um, this memorial on November 11th, 1111, every year, okay, the sun shines perfectly through it at 1111 a.m. And it shines right on the great seal of the United States, which I have shared extensively what this is. This is the rebellion, the 13, and it is the Phoenix. These are one in the same. That's what they represent. Okay. And this is the plan. And when, how, your guess is as good as mine, but I tell you this, we are close we are close to something so earth-shattering that people are just not going to know what to do. You need Jesus Christ. That's all I can tell you. And so this shines on the great seal, okay? 33 days from yesterday. And of all, to top it all off, this memorial is located in Phoenix, Arizona. I kid you not, folks. Phoenix, Arizona, and this is a northern suburb of Phoenix, Anthem, which also, Anthem, interestingly enough, is a song or a hymn of praise or gladness, okay? A psalm, literally, usually from scriptures, right? So they're setting up their snares, they're setting up their traps and their all their little tricks and devices, okay? So you don't want to fall for them snares. You need to be under the blood of Jesus. If you want truth, that's Jesus. That's who you seek for the truth, okay? And these people are 
this ongoing giant ritual is just carrying on. And now it's, it's just catapulted my attention forward to November 11th, which I don't know. There's a lot of time in between now and then. And a lot of things are happening and are going to continue to happen. But just, you know, look at this as your opportunity to get closer to the Savior, to get closer to the Father. Okay, because the only way to the Father is through Jesus Christ. He's the door, folks. The only one, right? So all of this stuff, just unbelievable stuff to me. It is. It's pretty unbelievable that this happens in Phoenix <laughs> on 11-11 at 11-11 in the morning and it shines directly on this. You see what I'm saying? So their plan is still ongoing. So become part of God's plan. Okay? He shows us the truth. He gives us comfort and peace. We don't need to know every single little detail. We know the powers and principalities at work here and that we're in a spiritual war. That's what matters. The flesh is irrelevant. Okay? Remember, anthem is a psalm, right? There's snares. Psalm 11. Upon the wicked he shall rain snares, fire and brimstone and a horrible tempest. This shall be the portion of their cup. Okay, don't let it be a portion of your cup. See Jesus today. Had to share that stuff. That's craziness, man. When I saw this this morning, when it, the Dow was down, 83183. That's crazy, but it's what I see and it's what I share. So y'all have a great day, okay? Peace and grace to you. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God,